Hey everyone, this is Gaming Fish 117 here with another recording. I am here joined by Blood Queen 42, and yeah, uh, we are here doing some solo stuff. But we are, Blood Queen's gonna run me through all this stuff so I can actually find everything I need to. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not completely uh, lost. Hey, Rat, how are you doing? Ow. Good luck with the solo boss in this area. Like there's a boss? Uh, at the end, but yeah. What if I was told? What if I told you I was being summoned as a gray spirit? Well, why are you part of their covenant? I forgot to change covenants. Okay. Right, just kill me, please, please. Like it's a good way to not get invaded by gray spirits when you're walking through the area, but. I forgot to change. Okay, I just had myself die. <laughs> I basically just walked up to an enemy and was like, da 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 da. <laughs> Hmm. Alright. Just give me a second. I'm going back to my world. Alright. Okay, so once you leave the bonfire and uh and walk through the rat's mouth and get into the big area with the elephant and the uh, rat, tell me when you kill those two because I've there's already done. There's a door with two okay. Peru stones. Do I need to open up this door? Now. Uh, t there should be. T uh. If you stand on the big dry rock in the, in the center of the room, to your one side, there should be a giant door with uh, yeah. what appears to be two lock, lock stone side by uh, on either side of it. Yes. And it has like three sections to the door. Yes. Well, you need to spend three lock stones in order to open it up. There is one in the water in front of it. Okay, yeah. And the two on either side. Is this and door that's important to open. Um it has an elephant, but I think that's all it has. Right, so it's not important to open. Yeah. Okay. I'm also good going through and looking through everything. Yeah. The other door over here. Wait, are you spending all of your fur of lock stones? At this point in the game, I don't think you really need <clears throat> any, and I have like a bunch. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, I don't know, I just don't wanna but... waste mine, I guess. I, I wanna just get all the crap I need to, I might just, if mm -hmm. I have some extra at the end of it, I might just use up all them, but... Yeah. So I couldn't s seem to find anything useful in the first big area. Alright, so I've walked through the... the actual... Um, wall that you, that you have to walk through to continue to the next area, and I see a ladder. It looks like a ladder. And then... Uh, more... Two. Another path. More of those rats. There, there's also a pharaoh's lockstone... If you go past the rats, there's a pharaoh's lockstone thingy that you can put in the water. I don't know what that's, that's used for. Um, I don't think anything important. Right. It, uh, it looks like you're next to it is like a couple locked doors that might be just traps. Okay. Alright, so I'm up the ladder and I'm gonna be fighting the two shielded people up on top. I, I guess I'm I guess this character is definitely gonna be able to go through it a lot quicker than yours, I guess, because how, how much damage I do. Uh, then there's also a Pharaoh's Lock Stone up on top. I don't know if that's used for. Um, um I believe that one is a trap. Mo again, most of these are just traps and annoyances. Gotcha. Yeah. What about the two by the. Okay, uh, make sure you roll out of the room that has the crossbow in it, that has the, uh, trapped chest and the crossbow. Kinda hurts yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Ooh, an item. Uh, do I need to put any lock stones into any of those by the... Uh, by the chest, no. Oh, those are just useless. Okay. Um, okay, 
now I'm up on the top portion and I'm going to the left hand side of the top portion. I'm not going to the right. I'm not actually following the path. Apparently, I was being summoned as a gray spirit, but I'm not part of that covenant. Okay, uh -uh. there is a bunch. There's one right there. Okay, there, there's a crap ton of. Why would you do this? <laughs> this area, it's like a troll. I guess that's why. Oh yeah, all the enemies are taken down. I don't know what to put any of my first block stones in up here. Um, in one of the already open doors, you'll find a bonfire. Not sure exactly where you are up, uh, up in the top area. Uh, there should be a bonfire up there. Okay, give me a second. You don't need a lock stone to get to it. Okay, what top area? Are we talking about the top area that has all the water in it, or the top area that had the... Uh, the... The, 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 uh, the, uh, top area that, that, that looks like it has a whole bunch of catwalks, uh, with, like, a shit ton of ferro's lock stones okay, yeah. across all the paths. Yeah. Right now I'm trying to look for that bonfire that you mentioned. Can't find it. Oh, there's a path up there. I hear it. Wait, do I have to jump across? Wait, do I have to jump across like a gap? No, you don't have to jump. Um, I do not see where the bonfire is. Oh wait, never mind. Found it. Wait, what happens if I jump? Oh wait, that gap was probably like, if you can make it cool, but you're probably gonna die if you jump across the type of thing. Probably. Uh, so there. Do, do I need to open up any of those Pharaoh's Lockstone things? Um. Let me check. I, I'm gonna I don't think really. Mo most of them are just traps. I can't remember exactly which ones aren't. Well, I mean, there's one I'm that I'm gonna try and open. Big giant I'm gonna try and open this big giant. I'm gonna see this big giant door. Um, there is an elephant inside the big giant door, but there's also a uh, item. Okay. Uh, does it take the three right next to it to open it? Uh, you can open the middle uh lock stone at out of the three and just be able to walk underneath it once you kill the uh uh elephant. That's so far the only only item I can remember. Okay. And. Wasn't well, there another area, and then now it's the boss fight type of thing? Uh, yeah, past that bonfire. That is gonna be. It's probably my least favorite boss fight just because oh. it's solo. And it's also a giant rat. Uh, not just that, it has a bunch of minions too. Huh, I'm already toxic. Wonderful. Yeah. Oh, now it's gone away. <laughs> I think there's also... Uh... Oh, no petrify. Point. Yep. Ouch! Ouch. Oh, crap, how? Why? Why? How is this a thing? Why is it a thing? And I died. Because uh, screw you and everything you love. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna retry that. Um. Well. It's an optional boss, but it's 
really annoying. I want to try this at least a couple times. And at least try to get past it. Okay, I'll actually wear lighter armor. <laughs> for this, because how annoying it is. Wow. Okay. Let me guess, you're only gonna do it a couple times, too? Uh, within the first, like, 20 seconds, the little guys made me toxic and was below half health, and then one shot, I got one shot by the boss after I killed the small guys. Oh, wow. Um, alright, that, that should be good. Okay, I wanna, I wanna try something a little cheeky. Is this gonna get the boss uh, uh, angry at me? If I just archer these little fellows to death? Yep. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. I do not have the stamina for this! Especially with this character! Okay, I just can't get toxic or anything like that. I, I just gotta continually run! <laughs> Like, uh, that's a cool thing to know. like when you don't have to deal with the small ones, it's actually the boss isn't actually that difficult as long as you stay underneath it. Uh... But what's really annoying is the fact that it's almost impossible to stay underneath it without dying because of the small ones and how fast this likes to run around. Yep. Because I'm doing almost 400 damage to it, but. That didn't really matter because of the tiny ones. What? What? I hate that it can do that. It can leap across the map. Are you... For me, it's hard for me to, like, because how low my stamina is. It, it's a pain in the butt for me to constantly be running. I don't have a whole lot of stamina myself, but I also don't have a, a, a whole lot of equipment load. <laughs> I so I generally move a bit faster to begin with. Yeah. You move a bit faster. Okay. I want I I don't care about the souls for this boss. Ha. Or okay, wait, 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 wait. Can I can I Wait, I got an idea. Since I don't it's a he, also, uh, he also spawns a giant uh equipment degrading uh, acid pool that that takes up a massive area around him. I killed him. So, I'm actually going to do something smart. For, for at least my character. I, I, I've incre I'm increasing my stamina and increasing my uh, poise resistance. So I don't get uh, stunned as easy. Well, goody goody for you. I won't be joining you here in a second. So is this the only soul area or is there another one? Um, I believe this should be the only soul solo area for the rest of the game. Well, I mean, aren't the DLC solo, or no? No. Alright, there, there's one rat. Whatever. And I'm toxic. Wonderful. And I can't move. So you guys might just see a couple of deaths the first episode. <laughs> me, me just dying over and over and blood queen and laughing. Ha 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 ha. Yes. Ha. You know what? Fine. Game, if you want to be like this, I'll play your game of light equipment load. We can have a little fun playing, playing in the only reason why The only reason why light equipment load works for me is because I almost never use shields and always dodge out of the way. 
I try to do that. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't work when you have a big giant fucking bleed. I'm I can also do it with giant two-handed weapons. <laughs> Maybe I should just... Wait, wait, wait. Would that work? Wait, 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 wait. How much was that total? <laughs> I'm doing that. I'm doing that. <laughs> I just have to. Just because. I game. I want to outplay you by a lot. <laughs> You can try. <laughs> no, I have two great swords now, baby. <laughs> and they're both maxed. Ow. Okay, that's freaking cheap. Oh yeah, kill kill your own minions, please. Do it for me. <laughs> he doesn't do much damage to his own minions. I can't even. I mean, he's almost killed all of them for me. <laughs> for me, he can't even do more than ten damage. Yet I each mean... time I see him, beat them. All right. But that's not what I'm after for the majority of it. I'm after him just stunning the living crap out of them. I should have dodged that. But you didn't. <sighs> and you got hurt because of it. What's the easiest way to kill this boss, I wonder? By killing it. You know what? <laughs> Bite me. Do I have a poison weapon? I'm just gonna get over one of my graces. <laughs> right. I don't know what. I wanna. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I just have to kill his minions before he kills me. Gotcha. That's basically what I did, and then I just stayed near his feet and managed to beat the crap out of him. What? Uh... Get wrecked. Oh, that was too close. Shopping. Ha! Like, please take care of your minion for me. There's one minion left. This is BS at its finest right here. I wasn't paying attention to my talk with my atrium, so the toxic got me. Grr! You know, I'm just not gonna use any more human effigies because this should be fine. I should be able to win it this time. I got it. Yeah? Yeah. Should be fine? Should be fine. Should be fine? Yep, should be fine. Brain. Should be completely fine? Yep. Should all sure about be that? fine. Well, like, I don't wanna hear your sass. Equip the bo- Thank you. I also love uh, da, da, doing that to uh, my boyfriend. Da, da, whenever he's like, I'm absolutely sure about this, and I'd be like, but are you? Are you? Is the thing. Yeah. 